Hey guys, I'm bored. Um, why am I wrapped in this purple blanket? You say, well, I'm actually wearing this white shirt. You've probably seen it before in my really old videos. Um, my mom says I can't wear it, but technically I'm covering up, so ha to you. I know you watch your mom, I know you invade my privacy. I just know it, I know it in my mind. So, on to the point of my video. The launch. The launch. Monty Python, my new obsession. You've probably seen that, known that by now by my recent exploding of favoriting Monty Python stuff and my last two videos before this video of Monty Python relation. Um, I, I kind of have been like interested in them in a while. My when my mom when my mom was younger and her in her teens, it, it was when the show was running from like nineteen sixty nine to nineteen seventy four when the actual Monty finds Python's flying circus was running. Uh, she was really into him. She was a fan. So I'm not sure the exact age or date or year I got in, really actually um. Not got into them, but like found out about them. I don't know how I did it. I don't know if like I just came in and she was watching it and I just came in or she just personally introduced them to me. I don't know. But I uh, oh, know only now, ugh, I only know now that I have recently gotten like obsessed. Like obsessed. Yeah. Like obsessed. Like with the, my obsession, obsession with the Stones and the Beatles and Michael Jackson, which is really still strong now, but still on to my point, Monty Python. It's a very cool British show that um existed in those years that I told you before, and they also did a few movies, and it's made up of six members. Five of them are British, one of them's American, and um because I'm a nerd, and you're probably gonna be bored by this, and you probably know this already, or you probably could just go on Wikipedia and find out. I'm gonna tell you who's who in the Monty Python world. Monty Python gang, which they're known as the Pythons. So, first of all, here's John Cleese. This is Michael Palin. This is Graham Chapman. Graham Chapman, who's... He's actually dead Sadly, he died of cancer in 89. I'm not sure exactly what he died of, but he's the only one that's dead. It's really sad. Just like all the other dead people I love. Anyway, um, here's Terry Jones. And then, um, uh, this is the American one. You don't really see him that much because he's only doing the animation, but his name is also Terry, and it's Terry Gilliam right there. And for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's because these songs all things always look on the bright side of my life and that song always makes me feel better. This is my favorite py python, Eric Idle. You've seen him before, you've heard him before, and always look on the bright side of life. Um, it's really cool. This show is cool. So you should, like, totally watch it. Lemon Curry. And for you Beatles fans, in case you didn't know, and I know I mentioned this in my Monty Python tribute that George was in one of their movies because they had a really budget crisis on their second movie. And I don't know about crisis, but still. And um, they really needed money and he paid, he helped with the money to make the movie. And he even had a guest star, which I showed you the picture in that video. But, but you didn't know that for a brief moment at the very end of one of the episodes, there was also... Sorry, sorry, I heard my crown doing stuff. Anyway, um, there's also another beetle. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because you could go find out yourself. I'm not going to give you a clue on who it is. I'm not going to say something like, oh, his name rhymes with Pingo. No. You find out yourself, you lazy little... Oh, sorry. I guess I should go because I'm probably boring you guys. I'm sorry if I bored you, but I had to make a video because I was bored. And I'm, I know my mom's tired of me complaining, and so are you probably, but, um, school's a pain in the patootie. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go, and, um, yeah.